Well, hello again, Internet. Welcome into the Southern E-Biking Extras. And today we are going to take a look at the Charmaster 10,400 milliamp power station uh, charging bank. And we picked this up on Amazon. My main reason for picking this up was to run my GoPro. I just I just got so tired of changing batteries with it, and uh, so I said, "Well, let's go ahead and experiment with some new things." And so we went ahead and you know experimented with it, and it's been working out pretty good for that. But what I found out is it actually works out pretty good for a lot of other things. Now, this if we looked at just some technical specs, it's it's 10,400 milliamps. Uh, it has uh, an output. It's a high output, five volt, three amp hour, uh, or three amp output. And so I specifically looked for one that had a pretty good output for the GoPro. But what I found out is the way it charges things up is really pretty darn quick. And we'll get into that here in just a little bit. You have three outputs on it, two USB-A and one USB-C. There's two inputs on it, your USB-C, and there's one on the side right here as well, and uh, that's your, your inputs for charging it back up. It has a, a percentage display, digital display, on the front of it that gives you the percentage of the battery that's left on this right here. If you, you can put it to sleep, that's gonna save you some. On there, you tap it twice and it'll go to sleep, or you tap it once and it'll wake up or you plug it into anything and it automatically is going to wake up. Size wise, well, it's probably, I'm taking that stuff out of my pocket so that when I put this in it doesn't clunk right there around my microphone. We're looking at about two and a half inches width wide. I'm going to say less than six inches tall. No way is it making a half inch thick. It is smaller than my Android cell phone, that's for sure. And it just drops right into your pocket. And, you know, you just kind of drop it in there and forget it. Now, I was saying we, we found this handy for some other things. Well, we pair this up. You know, of course, we use it with the GoPro. There will be another video coming out on exactly how I set up my GoPro as well. Thought I would let you guys know that. And, uh, but we just use a good USB A to C cable and you plug it in. And when you plug it into whatever, you'll, you'll notice here it will wake up as soon as you plug it in and start charging. So, you know, you don't have to worry about turning it on, you just plug it in and it's going to be waking up. I can charge my mic system. That's my DJI mic system. We can charge that up with it. Uh, of course, GoPro. Earbuds, not a problem. It'll charge them in no time. Lights for your e-bike, no problem. Charge them right on up. Tail lights. Uh, even something like this big old iPad Pro, you can charge it up with just no no issues whatsoever with charging them. Now, I put this on my Android cell phone one day. We had maybe 90% charge on this right here, and the cell phone had less than 60% charge. We took it back up to between 95 and 100%. We only dropped, I think it was, it was less than 5% that we dropped on the battery bank here. And, but it was within 15 minutes, it had the phone charged right back up. So, uh, yeah, this has a definite, definite place in my, uh, in my man cave in there, my e-bike and guitar room and, and that kind of thing. Best of all, $13, I believe, is what the cost is on this. Now, there's going to be a link down in the description. If you click on that link, it'll take you right to it show you just what, what we're dealing with right here. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions about it, well, 
feel free to just shoot me an email and or put a, a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions about it whatsoever. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up. But I, I have to tell you all, you need to go on over to my regular e-biking videos, like my ride-alongs. I'm going to be sharing a little bit of, let's just say, the progression of coming into these southern e-biking extras. Uh, yeah, there's an interesting little side story to that. I don't know if some of you noticed that one video went up, but then it come back down. Uh, well, there's an interesting little story behind that that I think you'll find very amusing. So check that on out. It'll be on a video coming up at some point real, real soon. And uh, yeah, I want to go back to my ether chair here. Uh, yeah, some people call this an easy chair. But there's something defective about this one because when I set back on it, somehow ether pours out from all around it, puts me to sleep just like that. So, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, kick back onto that. And hey, we'll see you guys on the next one. Till that next one, Southern E Biking telling you, stay safe, God bless, and keep the wheels rolling. Once again, we're out.